What? All right. You read it. C- City of Heresy? Yes, City of Heresy. Let's do it. Hold on, I'm going to figure this so out. So it's fine? It's fine. It's fine. It's all going to be okay. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of trauma there. Yeah. All right. And welcome back. We're, it's going to be back. <laughs> We're talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Episode 3, City of Heresy. I do love when we get to the next episode. You don't have to say Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm just going to say Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> 2003. <laughs> we'll get there. You'll understand what we're talking about in a bit. Anyway, so, Dara, thoughts on this episode before we get into a plot I, synopsis? I liked, it was definitely, like, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think this kind of feels like it would have been, like, maybe not a great for, like, a pilot, mm-hmm. but, like, it felt like it was more interesting. It felt like there was more, like, ramifications for what moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it wasn't just, here's how we got here. It was more like, oh, we're doing something now, right. I think. Yes. So, yeah, absolutely. I agree. And it's kind of like our first little adventure before we get into some some deeper stuff. So there will still, still be some more adventures. But we'll, we'll kind of tackle that when we get there. I think what they turned out. Like, okay. Where's the dad? Alchemy. Oh, that's such a good question. Understanding, deconstructing, but it's not going to be like pushing days where we don't However, find out. Oh, we will find out. Powerful art. It is impossible to create yeah, something. No, he'll show up. I, that's not a huge spoiler. Wishes to obtain something, I just, I don't think it's for a while. Found, you must be given. I remember this correctly. is the law of equivalent exchange. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. For what could equal the value But can be done. Another human soul. I've watched Pushing Daisies. Yeah. I know what the equivalent is. It's, it's, yep. And when they tried to bring back dead parents on that show, it was fine. Yeah, that worked out okay. Which, uh, the parallel between that is really interesting. I made an equivalent exchange joke, like, based, like, when we were doing that. I was like, I was like, oh, it's a lot of equivalent exchange. I was like, haha. There. So, the past couple episodes we've mentioned in passing, there's a town called Lior, and there's a guy there that's- mentioned in the passing? In passing, yeah. In the, because in the last episode, they're, they're on the train, they're like, oh, they're going to Lior. In the oh. first episode, in the first episode, they're like, oh, we're gonna get on a train to go to Lior, and, like, when the characters are first introduced. So, okay. Uh, y- blink- and you would have very well missed it. So and my brain already hurts. I'm gonna blink and miss a lot of stuff. That's, that's okay. Let's that's why. Real. That's why I'm here, dear, to shepherd you through. The well, last time you watched a show, over a decade ago. Um, oh we're God. old. Yeah, I watched actually nine years ago. I was. It's like this. I was in an old relationship. It's like the six that, that I'm seeing of like kids, like people who are like. People born in 1980 and then like 40 just like barreling towards them. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Wait, we got time. We got time. Milestone birthday for me coming up this year. Uh, let's Happy see. birthday. Yeah. I already I, passed that milestone. I'm, I mean, it's 11 months away, but anyway. So, Full Metal Alchemist. Yay. Brotherhood. Pray in faith that ye shall be saved. Those who have lost their way, the sun god Leto shall shine his So what are you guys, like street performers or something? <laughs> Seriously, do we look like street performers to you? <laughs> yes, why well, yeah. So we're on our way to a town called Lior because there's a guy there that seems like maybe he might have something or some knowledge that we could want to help the main characters get their bodies back. So they're going to pop over. It's just like this really small town. It's kind of, I think it's like deserty looking. At least that's my memory of it. And there's a prophet there called Cornello, and he likes to, he's a preacher. He's like, he's like, he's a faith healer, pretty much. It's like your, uh, what was it, Pat Robinson? Is it, was Pat Robinson a faith healer? I don't think so. Was he? Was The only person I could think who was um, a faith healer was Jim Jones. And that went well. Yeah. Or, um, what's, what is it called? The prosperity gospel? No okay. Prosperity? Something like that. Yeah, in, in the 70s and 80s, Robertson was a faith healer. Uh, so, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't 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 be like this guy that we're about to talk about on the show. He's like a mega church preacher. Whoa! <laughs> so that's it, huh? Turned it into metal or something shiny. Mm-hmm. No doubt about he made something small into something big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, buddy. To be fair, I think if your brother wasn't in the mecha, until Soul wasn't in the mecha, so you would also need something to stand on. It's true. He wasn't that tall. So you can just hear But they're not far from talking. where they where the brothers grew up, right? Because I thought there was an image of um the grandmother and the... Winnie was like... um 
I, I, this isn't near reasonable. No, no, oh. that was that was a different old lady. Oh, it oh yeah, like... it wasn't Pinaco. It was just a random old lady. All right. Yes, yeah, so this is just a small town uh, that doesn't really have any significance really besides just <laughs> besides just being a small town where there's a cult leader because this is a cult type situation right Although people are chill they're not like weird about it but a lot of them believe in the, what this guy's saying because he is able to put his money where his mouth is and like for example make things out of nothing which is of significance because obviously we know with alchemy you have to take other things to make it into something something of equal value must be lost so uh, this idea this guy is seemingly making things out of nothing and i think Ed mentions that, like, could just be, like, a party trick, could just be, you know, sleight of hand kind of thing. But they go and they they witness this guy, and it does look like that's what he's doing. My cabbages! It will fix it. Okay, here he goes. <laughs> Ed's face in that crap's really funny. There, see? How's that? It's not a miracle. It's alchemy. Oh, so you two are alchemists. Right, I've heard of them. Then maybe you've heard of us. We're the Elric brothers. The Elric brothers, you say? Wait, I do know that name. Wow. <laughs> so you're the young god and you can tell all the stories about? Oh, we can He is a teenager! Yeah. It's not me. <laughs> what? You mean it's the little guy there? Oh, come here, come here! To be fair! What's about this name? Alric? Alphonse? Alphonse. The younger brother? Yeah. yeah he was the one who fixed the radio. Yeah. He did his best. He did a really good job. He grants eternal life to the souls of the faithful. He can even resurrect the dead. His miracles are proof that what he says is true. So it's a cult. Yeah. Okay. So before they do that, they have a scene where they fix up a radio and a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you've been blessed. And they're just like, nah, it's alchemy. And they're like, oh, okay. And oh, you're the Full Metal Alchemist guy in the mecha suit. <laughs> As we continue the joke of people thinking Al is the Full Metal Alchemist because he is in fact Full Metal. Like he is, he's Full Metal. And, and he's only an partially metal. <laughs> and he's an alchemist. And he's an alchemist because yeah, we can see that Al's still able to do alchemy. He just can't just do it with his hands. He has to draw the circle. So, but it's it's fun. We get to see right. Like wouldn't that give it away that like if he's drawing a circle? Or they, I guess people don't know what a Full Metal Alchemist like would be. Mm -hmm. So right. Yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of people's understanding of alchemist is drawing circles. So also, like, I was thinking, like, did the town not believe in alchemy? Because like they see like this guy who can just make it on his own, but like, mm -hmm. wouldn't the knowledge be like you need something to do that? It seems like the like alchemy is kind of like a like a herd of concept, but not like a big thing. So a guy comes along and he's just like, hey, I can make things out of nothing. I'm God, or like I'm a prophet. People are like, cool, all right. It's just like a, it's like um. It's a more isolated town, I think. Okay. Oh, merciful God, please hear me. Hear my prayer, I beg of you. Please bring him back. Why does it feel so like most anime people, like Leto. kids, kind of look like emo kids from the no, late 2000s? Are you interested in no, Where do you think the emo kids got their style from? Really That's fair. And she's all about She looks religion. like your typical Hot Topic girl. She's got like the pink fringe and like the regular style hair. Yeah, she does look a little Hot Topic. So that that's hot topic. I would say hot topic circa late two thousands because I don't know what hot topic girls mm -hmm. look like now. Yeah, although it's funny I did to see a TikTok where apparently like I don't I I think that they were joking but they're kind of like oh like whenever Black Parade comes on they just need to stop what they're doing and put their hands on the harness. <laughs> so I was thinking Black Parade. <laughs> Honestly, they, the fa they play the first note and everyone goes, I know this one. But yeah, so she is all bought into this religion thing. She's like all about it. And I think she's gone through some personal tragedy. So she has kind of gravitated towards Father Canelo and everything that he can do. And like, uh, Ed is not all about that because he's he's not really into religion. He's like, I'm a scientist. And we're like, all right. Because he's, no. he's an edgy teenage boy. He's kind of like, hey. He's like, he's like, hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Oh, we're just Salt, reading things now? Grams. That list represents the complete chemical makeup of the human body for the average adult. Mm -hmm. It's been calculated to the last microgram, but still, there's never been one reported case of successfully creating a human life. Oh, that's what all the stuff was. Yeah, yeah. I get it so it's now. Good. You can do with prayer. Lift thy voice to God. And, the and it definitely works. Cool it, honey. 
Did I mention all those ingredients I read off? Down at the market, a kid could buy every one of them for the spare change in his pocket. Not that I would know. As it turns out, humans are pretty cheap. We are all children of God, created in His image. <laughs> you have to understand, alchemists are scientists. It's ironic, really, that through the application of science, the alchemy is kind of like the stuff we've kind of imagined. Kind of. So you're putting yourself but on the not. same level as God? That's just sheer arrogance. I'm sorry, miss. This is difficult for me to ask. But do you think your father, Cornello, could even save an arrogant scientist like me? Yeah. Of course, that's wonderful. <laughs> if anyone can lead you to the creator's light, he can. What's up? <laughs> but then also just like beating down her beliefs. Yeah, yeah. Like he's he's an absolute shit stain of a human boy, but like he's he's fine. We we love him for who he is. He's been through a lot. He's been through it. We can't even blame him. But he is He's trying to get an audience with Father Cornello to figure out, like, what his whole deal is because they want to know, like, what it is. They think they see a ring and it looks like it has a red stone on it and they think that maybe that's the Philosopher's Stone. And so if they could have access to that, that'd be great. Like, that's the thing about the Philosopher's Stone is that it's, it's this perfect material. And so, like, it can't break. Yeah. So it can't break and you can do whatever you want with it because it amplifies alchemic power to the extent where you can make things from nothing. Father Cornello, there are visitors here who wish to see you. Damn, and this is a problem. Edward Elric, the full metal alchemist, has come to call on us. That's How long has he been the full metal alchemist armor? for? Just the part it would seem. Like a year this state Okay. Be here in Lior? Surely they could have found that's a guess, but that's, that feels right. Well, it's I feel like a, a lot of people know who they are. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. We understand. Why they let her tag along? Good, then it's agreed. We'll make this quick. <laughs> Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're doing? Rose We're firing off the ceremonial the pistola! pistola. <laughs> <laughs> this is God's will. Brother Cray! Well, like you said, let's go. Although, can you kill him? The Transformer? Uh, there is a way to, but if you shot him, it's not going to be enough. Oh, yeah, Most strike! Of I'm assuming because there's like markings on him that yeah. if you get rid of the markings. You're fucked. Ah, the fucked. Exactly. You're so to the home of our sacred order. <laughs> Father Cornello! I must apologize for my disciples' behavior. How can you perform transmutations that ignore the law of equivalent exchange? As I said, because it isn't alchemy. But then I started alchemy? thinking about it. If you'd somehow managed to it's acquire alchemy. a certain object to amplify your alchemy, one that's said to make the impossible possible. The ring the philosopher's that would stone. Everything. What? I'm talking about the Philosopher's Stone. Your ring. That's it, isn't it? No. <gasps> I am God's humble servant. It is from He alone that I derive my power. Still trying that's to sell that line. Yeah. Huh? If that's the way you want to play it, I guess I'll have to come up there and beat some truth out of you. Ma, you really Kick his are ass. Quite okay. <laughs> Honey, child, don't make Hot Topic girl kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am the sun god's chosen emissary. This is the eyes open? My word is the word of Leto. At some point. Like that. that. <laughs> but he's being <laughs> evil. <laughs> Get him. When you lost your fiance to that tragic accident last year, who was it that saved you from the very depths of despair? Oh, how old is she? Forgotten. Not that old. That's right. Being engaged? I who took your hand and led you into God's she was engaged, yeah. And you recall what it was I guess it's like an old town. She looked the same age as Edward, so I felt yeah. like there was gonna be like a thing. Not in this series. For some reason, then Father Tom Cornell is like, Hey, Rose, remember when I helped you out because you were grieving? And she's like, Yeah. And he's like, I think you should uh, shoot those guys. <laughs> And she's like, I, mean, I don't really want to, but like, okay. okay if you I kind of wonder, like, what happened? Because I feel like, like, she there was no proof of her, like, I guess I feel like there wasn't like a real, like, like she didn't have like any real evidence to believe this guy. Like, I think like he made yeah. a, he made a promise to her, yeah, but like there wasn't evidence to say that he could do it. And she just like believes him, but like I guess like if you're like that tra like traumatized by something, you might believe. Anything. And somebody's charismatic enough, like they got you in their their clutches, like a cult. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I, I have to do this. No, you don't, honey. You really don't. He's been lying to you, Rose. You're wrong. Rose, you ain't shit. You made some big, big thing. Whoops. Ow. 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 Good. 
Pablito is pleased. You have done well, my child. Haven't you made her do enough already? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were. Don't worry about it. He's pretty solid. Yeah. See, no one does. <laughs> He's fine. Like we That's did, we killed the Full Metal Alchemist. And like one, not the Full Metal Alchemist. Two, that guy ain't got no body. Right. So like he's good. He just is just mildly inconvenienced by right. the whole thing. You know, we'll kill him though. Mm -hmm. Soap and water. Oh no. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it. So maybe a bit more. Like blood's hard to get off. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, for their sake, I hope so. Um, <laughs> well, I feel like as long as his head's on. Yeah, right. And like he's he's strong in the mecha suit. Yeah, he is. I think they're fine. He's got a he's got a powerful body. Evil of this kind must be purged. <laughs> and I believe Why we yeah. I forgot about I forgot we had chimeras. So in this. this is the sort of thing you do with the philosopher's stone. That's just twisted. <laughs> Anyway, looks like I'll need a weapon. Is that an abomination onto the Lord? Probably. So Father Cornella also um, releases a creature of sorts. It's called a, it's called a chimera, which is yeah. They, I, we, I, we did also did that orphan black. Which they also and also pronounced a myriad of ways. I think the first time I ever heard the word was from Fumola Alchemist. So I just say it however they say it in the show, which is I think is chimera. But like I've heard it. Chim I've heard chimera, chimera, chim chimera. I've heard it you say, which chimera? is chimera, and yeah. then I've heard chimera. Yeah. I think I'd have like to say chimera. So in this show, chimeras are basically just um, animals that are combined together, which is what a chimera is. But it's Like the island of Dr. Moreau? Is that what that's about? Is that what that's about? I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like they it's put like, them together. They or like a... Uh, I can't think of anything else. What mm -hmm. I think there has there's something. I feel like there's some. I, I thought I'm a Doctor Moreau was like a guy like making stuff out of other creatures to turn them into things. Oh, that's like the full plot summary. I just want to know what the basics are. Uh, I think we need like a TLDR for the plot. What's it? What's the tier? What's the TLDR? What's TLDR. The plot. Um, oh, that's oh plot half, the movie. half human beasts. Okay, yeah. so sort yeah, of. Yeah, kind of. Okay, yeah. So it's gonna be the plot of the movie, which as I heard is not good. Oh, really? I think it's like... It looks like Marlon Brando was in it. He was in it, but that doesn't mean... <laughs> it's fair. So it's a, it's a, it's a lion. Your little spirits go like a lizard. 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 Lion, lizard, so alien. Nice. Fight him, you stupid beast! Metal. You like... Oh. Oh. You're on. Brother trapped in armor. I see. It's all becoming clear now. You did it, didn't you? So one thing, even the most dramatic knows reveal. Knows is Again? Why don't you come down? It's like a third time this happened. Yeah. Real quick who the we'll talk is. about it. I don't like how Link looks from that new this Legend of the Zelda game. Of mm. These fools attempted human transfer. He's lost from Pennsylvania. The taboo for any alchemist. In their arrogance, they tried to bring someone dead back to life. Thanks. He could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings melted and he I'm remembering something that happened him. five minutes ago. <laughs> Take a good look, Rose. Is this what you want? And she was like, I mean, you're, that's kind of sexy, so, so like, a little. Yeah. yeah. Not even half a man. Hell, not even half a What? Is she done? He just, <laughs> just made a Tommy gun. But you can tell this was based off the early chapters of the manga because we're getting the reveal here. Like, oh, wait, there is no body in that suit of armor. Oh, wait, his arm is metal yeah. and his leg is metal. Yes, which we already knew. <laughs> which, so it feels like kind of repetitive I'm for like, us. I'm like, it's the third time that we're like, oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. It's like, all right, we get it now. Uh, so it's it's kind of weird that I'm sure they downplay it a little bit, but it, it's a little strange. I mean, I'm surprised like the metal was like as strong as it was. Yeah, right. That's auto male, baby. Yeah. Me and God, we don't get along too well. Even if I went, he'd probably just send me right back here. That's fair. Kinda did. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, don't just stand there after them. These hidden seek to harm the order. They must be stopped. Can you imagine you're just like hanging out at church and all of a sudden fucking Joel Osteen or <laughs> Pat Robertson <laughs> pops out with a Tommy gun? Isn't Pat Robertson dead? Yeah. Thank God. Which make it even weirder. Also, don't we need the, the ring? 
that will get there. Also, are we trying to get the Philosopher's Stone or a Philosopher's Stone? Like, is there more than one? It's a great question. Okay. I think we're still trying to figure that out. I mean, I know the answer. But plot wise. All we wanted was to see our mom smile again. But our transmutation failed. And she was not, in fact, smiling. People don't come back from the dead. I mean, you no. kind of did. That's not true. And you're... I mean... Alchemy is based on the law of equivalent exchange. Do you see it? I For the third time? With his own blood. His leg had been taken. Rose's whole role in this episode is just to be like... <gasps> and bonded me to this suit of armor. Although why did the why did God go after the little brother? I just want to help him get his for the body thing when it looked like the big like the he Edward was the one more one who wanted to because life isn't fair. That's it fair. But also wouldn't even wouldn't to punish him when they go after that's something okay. that he, yeah I'll give you that something that he cares about. Because he could do what he promised me. Just because you and your brother failed, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean he will. Oh honey, honey, honey. Like hey, when you try to bring someone back from the dead, it's bad. Don't trust this guy. Yeah. Just saying. But she's she's all into that religious stuff. I wonder like I wonder if he could do like a like a like if uh, Ed can do like a memory memory slurp mm. on somebody to be like, hey. Meld. Somebody's like, I want to bring back this person the dead. Slurp. Here you go. No. It's an it's not a slurp though. What's that we had another word for like when you give the memories. Was it, was it a was it a shloop? No. I think we just said slurp. I don't I don't know. I have to go back and Oh my god, I don't remember. Whatever that was. I would say like a member, like, hand touchy. <laughs> <laughs> what the, are we? Was, was that the quickening? Kind of. <laughs> no, is that what we called it? I think No, was... I think you mentioned the quickening a couple times. It wasn't the name that stuck, though. Oh, I thought we did. Because that was like the closest thing I could think of. Yeah, I think it was a, sh I don't know. I have to watch the Avena Avis episode again. I just, I'm trying to spend too I long the I think we're like, it's the final slur down. <laughs> <laughs> We had we had fun with Bachno. Every if you haven't watched it yet, you should go back and watch it. Anyway, so yeah, Conello is a bitch. That's all you gotta know. Right, but the, and then they defeat the lion lizard. Yeah, thing. and then they have to go do things. But like, and Rose is still like into the original stuff, even though they're like, "Hey, this guy's full of shit." And they're like, "Ah, but like, what if he's not though?" And it's like, "Okay, honey, whatever." Do we have evidence that he's not full of shit? Uh, no, because in another scene, honey. There you are, you infernal brat! Look, can we just cut the crap and talk here? All I want are some straight answers about the stone. Uh, <laughs> ask your questions. You could do anything with the Philosopher's Stone, right? So why waste all that power performing phony miracles? I'm slowly building an army, a legion of he holy warriors, friends. unafraid to die. Medical. In a few more years, Medical. I'll be ready to unleash this minus horde upon the world. And I'll use the Philosopher's Stone to tear this country apart. Why are you a faith healer in this small right. town? And he's like, oh, for the cult, obviously. And he basically says it's for the power. He's like, if he tricks people, then he basically has an army. I think really what he just wants is friends. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's like he's like no, no if I like, if I do cool tricks people will want to be my friend. No, but then but he wants to control over these people so they'll do whatever they he wants. That's right. not what a friend is. Oh, okay. A friend is somebody who will do stuff for you if you ask them nicely saying mm -hmm. like hey this thing. But then also like if you're doing something stupid a friend might try to be like yo you're being stupid. That's true. Or like if you're like having a panic attack they'll be like here I am. Friends hold each other accountable. Right. That's very important. There's a balance though, because like sometimes, like if you, if they if your friend knows, like sometimes, like, sometimes like you need to learn mm -hmm. from the mistake, so yeah. like your friend can't really do anything because I'm like, people are weird. Sometimes you just yeah, th that's true. Sometimes you just have to learn from our mistakes. Like, um, like what? Edna Al. Like Edna Al. They <laughs> absolutely learn from their mistakes. I think. Hopefully, I hope they don't try to bring their mom back again because that's not going to work well for them. I don't. I. I from the way Ed's acting, I don't yeah. think that he's good. I think Ed makes a comment in this episode, too, that's like, I feel like oh, Ed we're not going to do that. He's like, because I think Rose is like, oh, you just want the power so you can get your mom back. And he was like, excuse me? I also feel like, because uh, I don't know, like, did Al see the, the demon spawn? Uh, the half-dead demon? I don't demon think so. I think like, maybe Al might say, like, oh, he, let's bring mom back now. He might have, actually. Because if he didn't. No, I think he, he would have. He would have. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, if he didn't, he'd be like, oh, let's bring mom back now. And Ed's like, no. Yeah, see, because I think Al makes a comment, too. He was like, what we brought back, like, that wasn't human. Like, right. because when he describes it to Rose, he's like, you don't want him to bring something back. We tried it, and, like, what came back, that was not 
like an actual human. So yeah, he would have seen it. Um, okay. So like, I think we're not going to bring mom back. No, we're not. We're not going to bring mom back. No. So she gets to stay. We're going to bring dad is. back. <laughs> Maybe we will bring dad back. I hope he comes back. <laughs> From wherever the fuck he is. <laughs> but yeah. So when uh, Cornell finally finds Ed, Ed is just like, hey, well, yeah, what are you doing for the, he says, he's doing it for the power. And he kind of reveals his whole plan. And here's the kicker, Dara. You know how Cornello loves, like, going, basically going on his uninterrupted podcast and just, like, preaching all day, every day. Like, literally, Jim Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, literally. Who knows? I might even carve out a slice for you. <laughs> yeah? Wait, what are you laughing about? I knew it. You really are a novice, aren't you? Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Don't what? Me, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> 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 Lied to you. Why you? How long? I've been on. Gonna start. Your believers heard every word. The whole town can now. It's uh -huh. being broadcasted, so everyone can hear Father Cornello, full of shit. Right. So, so it reminds me of the thing I did where I'm like, oh, I'm a true crime person. I'm going to listen to the Jonestown tapes. Don't do it. Oh, my God. You did well, not. I didn't listen to the full ones, but, like, I was listening to podcasts, like, episodes, and, like, I list, so, like, they, on there, they have them. So, so like, the death tapes. Do they really? Oh, it's like. That's messed up. Here's the problem. Like, the actual stuff that he's saying, like, like, truthfully, Jim Jones at that point did sound like derpy dogs still. Mm -hmm. The issue is the background noises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of it's the bad. people dying? From cyanide. Oh. <gasps> It was bad. Yeah, I've heard somebody describe what's on there, and I was like, I nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm traumatized. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sorry you had to go through that. No, but it was my choice. That, I'm sorry that you thought you should have put yourself through that. I guess, like, because, like, I'm like, oh, let me listen to this episode and, like, not skip any parts. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, I'm going to skip some parts. <laughs> oh, joy, a full metal alchemist. <laughs> Brotherhood. Brother, brotherhood. Brotherhood. You'll pay dearly for this. Really? Well, Sorry, not today. Get the spell. Not today, bitch. He can do flips. So we. So the philosopher stone is kind of basically everything that Edward can do, right? No, the philosopher stone means that you can make no, something out of like nothing. This. Kit. Uh, no, he can do things without a transmutation circle, but he still has to make something into something else. Then how do you make the swords thing? They were coming out of the ground, so if you, like, look, there was indentation in the ground because it was coming out of the ground. Oh, but it doesn't need to make a circle to make it. Correct. <laughs> yes. Wait, what did he become the Hulk? That's a great question. Oh, he big. Yeah. He punched now. When'd that happen? But I guess he turned his arm into, like, whatever he wants, yeah. but then also, like, that's turning metal into metal. Yeah, exactly. And he's just changing the shape, really. Yeah. Hey! Because you can see it, like, takes from yeah. other Also, things. what do they need the stone for? To get their bodies back. Because they have to create something from nothing. Oh. What? Oh. What happened? It's supposed to be perfect material. How did it just break like that? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Spare me. Damn fake. Please don't. But I he still made stuff out of nothing. Spare yeah. me, please. So it can't be fake. We went through all this. It was, just wasn't the real deal. It's like a cheap chance. knockoff. And it's a fake? So he's a magician. So, uh, what about me? Yeah. I don't care what you do. Just get out of here. Bye. <laughs> So his he's weapon, like a Hulk. yeah, his weapon kind of like goes into his own skin, and then he kind of like makes himself big because he's kind of like inflated with power. And so there's a fight, and but like in the middle of it, the stone um, breaks. Breaks. So like the stone wasn't a real philosopher's stone. It was it was something that was probably magnifying his power, but it wasn't the actual stone. So we don't really know what the. So deal he's like was. a really good alchemist, but then also like a good like, but it's like a so it's like it's a mixture of like alchemy and like party tricks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but the also, Falkner also, he also thought he had a Philosopher's Stone. He thought it was a Philosopher's oh. Stone. And so when it breaks, he was like, why'd it break? He's like, I don't know. So <laughs> we don't really know. But yeah, Rose is pissed that all that happened um, because I think 
a lot of people in this town who have believed in something now, their faith has been shaken and they are like, well, what am I supposed to believe in now? Like at least that, I think that's part of the, the comfort about something like that when someone comes along and says, hey, I can fix your problems. Somebody's like, oh my God, finally, I have all these problems and now I can just take them and just put them in this space and now I don't have to deal with them anymore. But once that disappears, that you, you, that's not a safe place to put it. Now that all your problems are back on you and you're like, what do I do with this? Therapy. Yeah, go. That's what I had to do. So <laughs> it worked out well. So anyway, you're cured. I'm I'm cured. I'm fixed. I don't. I'm not mentally ill anymore. Just kidding. Uh, David, that's not how there. That's, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, people. I thought we'd really found a way to get your body back. Give me the philosopher's stone. Go I won't hesitate. Lady, it was a fake. Like I was just saying, it was a fake. It wasn't real. Besides, it's shattered now. Liar! That's right! And so you can try to bring your mother back again! Rude! Just shut up! People don't come back from she the said, dead. I don't think they want to bring their mother back in at this point. No. <laughs> yeah, I think they wanted their lesson. You said if I prayed it would happen. You that hope was all I had left. What am I supposed to believe in now? I don't know. We're just gonna leave her there? You have to figure it out. Dramatic. They're so weird. He's like Keep brooding, but forward. then also like You've got two good lives. Like has a like a lot of like weird emotions about Yeah. You're strong He is a teenage boy, Dara. He is a teenage boy. Also freaks out when people say that he's short. He's got a complex. Ed is like, figure it out. And yeah. then he leaves. <laughs> it doesn't really help. But also, like, he's a child. Yeah, but it's also, it's not his job to fix that either. He was just like, and I think he's, he seems pretty pessimistic about the whole thing anyway. I so, kind of like that, not yeah. gonna lie. I think it's fun. Yeah, he's a, he's a good character. So, yeah, now the town, whole town is pissed at Corn, uh, Cornella because he's like, dude, what's the, like, dude, you you pulled us all, you suck. And then Cornello uh, goes into his inner sanctum Ooh. and... I think he's gone. Nope, nope. That damn brat, it's all ruined. Everything I worked for. Yes, all that hard work for nothing. Uh, I knew we should have just lady? decided a little rebellion. Quasimodo? Yeah. No. I'm hungry, last. Can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. And then we see some characters that we saw in the previous two episodes ago. Femme I think Patel, it was like Lady, and Quasimodo. Yeah, Femme Patel, whose names are Lust and Gluttony, respectively, make sense because... Lust is very sexy. And Are we gonna meet the other deadly sins? We will. Oh. The Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so there's like seven villains? Um. Is there a god? I mean, yeah. That's a great question, Derek. Is there a god? We didn't see a thing. <laughs> uh, we saw, yeah, we saw a, hmm, a thing. But it's not a lot. The seven deadly sins is a thing in this show. Okay. So, like, Yes, we will actually meet them at some point. Now you two, everyone has mocked me. I won't stand for... Nice. <laughs> I'd say this concludes our business. Alchemy? <laughs> really, it's more of a... It's not a, it's not a transmutation circle. Just as things were beginning to look... Father won't be pleased. In any case, it's time we started thinking about our next move. <laughs> He's got one too. Uh, and Lust goes ahead and she kills Cornella because she has um, fingernails that extend. She has extended fingernails. So she goes, oh, that's what it was? That's what it was. It was very dark. I'm not sure if we were supposed to see it, but it basically she puts her hand out and everything goes shoop, like right through his skull. Okay. So, and then Gluttony gets to eat him. So that's exciting. Yay. Cannibalism? Yeah. Are the cannibalism, are they human? That's a good question. Okay. That's a great question there. That's a fantastic question. So that's that episode. How, how how are we feeling? I think right now, like, it's more kind of like I'm interested in, like, the brothers and, like, their journey. Yeah. But I don't really care about anything else. That's fair. Yeah. Like, if we get us, like, like, I like, I like Ed. Like, Ed's, like, very, really, like, an interesting character about, like, he's, he's like, very much like a, like, a teenager who has been through a lot and is very much, like, a, not, not self-centered, but more kind of, like... Like, yo, dude, like, we all got our own shit to deal with mm -hmm. kind of thing. And, like, I feel like the trauma kind of, I feel like the what happened to him, like, he's still, like, a little bit, like, um, what's the thing? Like, I felt like when he was, like, younger, he was, like, a bit, like, 
he was a bit like broody, but also kind of like like that was like his whole thing, and now he's mm-hmm. kind of more like a smart aleck. Bro- yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's. I like. I we're, we like we're get, on the path now. If we like stop like. with the military plot line, that'd be fine. Okay. Like I'm kind of fine. Just like we're like, not, but I like, believe. No, no, I know. I would kind of be fine if we just like follow the brothers like on this journey and find a philosopher's stone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but oh, it. I'm thinking forward, and I'm remembering how much I really like the show. <laughs> so I'm really excited because uh, it's just it's put together in a way that I just really appreciate. So. Yeah, um, let's do some episode notes. Yeah, I don't have much to say. I think I have more reflections on this when we talk about the episodes that we're going to talk about next because we're mm-hmm. doing something a little different, but I'm going to circle back to that, just kind of finish up with this. So here's some episode notes. This episode is adapted from the content of chapter one and chapter two of the manga. So these were originally, this was, <laughs> this was the first thing that we saw originally in the like original story. Okay. So the very first iteration of this tale, this would have been the beginning. Here it's episode three. Okay. Uh, the hum- the transmutation circles that appear in the background of this episode's title are the Elric Brothers Human Transmutation Circle and a simple circle used by Alphonse at the beginning of the episode to repair a radio. In the corresponding manga chapter, Cornella was well aware of Edward's appearance and youth even before meeting him, but in this episode, he is shocked to discover that the Flamina Alchemist is not the armored Alphonse. So they just played that up for the, the humor of it in this one. Oh, so like, so, so that mean like, in like later on, like some people are aware that like the Flamina Alchemist is Edward and yes. not Alphonse? Yeah. The most of the people who think that it's the full suit of armor usually only have passing knowledge of things. But people who are, like, in the know usually know, like, it's Ed. And that should be fine with that. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So, let's also, see. Also, like, like, kid, you'll grow. I mean, well, 16. He might, he might grow a little bit more. Maybe he just needs a growth spurt. Mm-hmm. Also, like, maybe, like, the trauma didn't help with the growth spurt. Yeah. Can stress, like, stop growth spurts? I'm sure. I imagine... Because stress releases a certain chemical that that might interfere with other... Because, like, it's hormones. surprising how much stress can do to you. Yeah. It's it's no, it's really interesting because later on there is discussion... Well, this is way later in the series, but there's discussion about, like, why past events are the way they are and if that actually plays into anything about Ed being short. So it's <laughs> it actually gets, like, sort of seriously mentioned at one point. Uh, it's not, like, a plot point or anything. It's just something that gets talked about. And I'm like, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that makes sense. And in the... Manga, Alphonse's hollow state is revealed earlier when Cray shoots off his helmet and Ed uses it uh, as a projectile. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm like, also, like, didn't we, like, we knew all, I guess. In the episode. I guess it revealed, guard, yeah. like, like, his head was hollow in the second episode, mm. but, like, we knew that. Yeah, we've we, we been knowing. And also, like, didn't we know about the metal arm and leg in the second episode as well? Yeah. So, like, we're just gonna, like, be shocked He's, by this for a third time? Right, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's like it's an adaptation, and I think they didn't drastically change a lot of stuff. Like they mentioned what the changes are. It's only a small couple changes, and everything else just for it's just easier to yeah just keep it. Like, I don't mind them being, we're adapting. Like, I don't mind them being shocked. It's like in the like if you think about like the first like few episodes of Avatar: The Airbender, there are mm-hmm. like a lot of people like you're the Avatar. Yeah, like multiple times, which is fine because like people are just like. Because it's, it's their like, first time they're seeing it. It's their it. first time. Like, that's fine. But, like, I feel like that. Oh, my God, your arm is metal? Or, oh, my God, there's no body in there? You did the thing. I'm like, yeah, we know. Oh, we we, we, we did that's like, three full episodes That's, of like, a thing that's, like, you do it once. Like, that's, like, for the person and also, like, for the audience. Yeah. So then we know and then we're done. Right. Um, let's see. The, the scenes involving the mutated Cornello were not part of the manga version of the story. It's been – I haven't read the manga since high school, so – a million decades. years ago. So many years ago. There's things I do remember that are different the, from the manga to anime, especially in Brotherhood, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say, to be fair, my high school did, like, we just did our 10-year anniversary, and I'm like, uh, I'm yeah. that old? Yeah. I didn't go. They didn't, they didn't have... We, we didn't hold one. They didn't... They didn't. They were like, do you guys want to do one? And we're like, yeah, and nobody planned it. So they... Was it sponsored by the school, or was it sponsored by students? I have no idea. I, oh. I really didn't pay attention. Like, literally, like... That's fair. There's so many kids... How do, why would you go to a reunion when, like, you probably don't remember a lot Oh, of I love keeping tabs on people. You know me. I keep tabs on so many people. And so I just want to see I, – I just want to see who I'm doing better than, honestly. I just, but then you feel like you're not doing better than anybody. It's like, oh, like, this person has, like, the stereotypical life of, like, a partner and a kid's in a house. Dara, we went to different kinds of high schools. I know I'm doing better than some of those guys. I feel like if you're not doing well, why would you go to the reunion to, like – I don't know, because – 
some people peaked in high school and they think they're doing well. But uh, I digress. <laughs> no one in my school watches this. No, you're doing well. You have a whole podcast. We have a whole podcast. Yeah, yeah, guys, we're really winning at life. We have a podcast. Whoa, uh, I'm having a great time. Well, unlike right some stuff that says this podcast boom is dead. Oh well, we're still doing it. Well, so. I think it's like Spotify was spending a lot of money on podcasts, and then it didn't go. Well. Uh, well, that's for like that's exclusive on you. stuff. People were like, no, apparently it's a it's it's dead unless you're an independent podcaster, like us. Yeah, nice. That's we're we stay winning. Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> Thirty dollars I'll do ASMR. Um and not show feet. <laughs> not you're not no matter how much money you give me, I'm not showing my feet. I mean I technically could right now. Okay, depending on how much money you give me, I might consider it. Enough to buy you a really nice house. Yeah. Yeah. And not and like pay it off, no mortgage. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean we can do that right now if we want to. I got the, oh. I got my feet out. Wow. Guys, you're missing some quality content right now. I'm just saying. I still don't get a I don't I still don't get their feet. Yeah. I don't get it. I know. <laughs> All right. Last bit of uh, episode notes. Also shout out again to the wiki writers. I feel like I don't shout them out enough. You, you do guys actually. Are I mean, I feel like they should get all of the love because like so much love. I and it says ever mentions the tale of Icarus, a boy who flew on the wings of wax and feathers. The wings melted when they flew too close to the sun, causing them to plummet from the skies. That this tale also serves as a comparison of Edward Elric's backstory. So we we be knowing that. I remember Icarus, like the 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 video that I had to watch in elementary school about the story with a where an old man and a puppet dog told it to me. Your experiences are not universal. I did not have to do that. <laughs> there are two episodes: one with Perseus, and then one with that, where basically. It was like, all I remember that, like, the dad also, like, there was a bunch of deaths in that episode, including one where somebody died via boiling water, mm -hmm. but, also, 12-year-olds, 12, 12 but, point being, there was also a bit where they have, like, I think, like, his nephew there with him, yeah. and then, like, he was, like, hanging out with the nephew, and he's, like, spinning him around, like, a thing, and then, like, it's clear, like, the nephew's supposed to, like, fall off a wall and then die, mm -hmm. but it's kind of just, like, it's, like, slow-mo, so it's kind of just, like, eh, eh, <laughs> it's supposed to look like an accident. <laughs> Wait, there reminds me of a video that we had to watch in high school about the Whiskey Rebellion. And the the framing of that, that like short was like, oh, the kids accidentally gets like the kid gets isekai'd back into the Whiskey Rebellion. And the way that happens is that he gets like hit by a car while he's skateboarding. But it's Oh, one of those the way, it's, the way it's filmed is so funny because it's like the car comes and the kid's like, whoa, skateboarding, and then it like stops, and then you see like it just stops, and then you see him just like jump. And <laughs> I wish I could describe it. I wish I could find that video because it was so funny. I saw one of those things about I saw one of the movies like about slavery though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's Mr. Bosby, literally. Yeah. And he gets and he's like running from I I think police. Yeah. Cause, and then he I think he hits his head and then he's back in the South. Back then. What's the message of this? Is there a message? I don't here? remember. We're just educational about the thing. I'm worried about like he's like running from the police. Like, what's the lesson? It's like learn your. I think I don't, what? Was, I think it was the police. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, the only I remember that, and then I remember um, he helps um, another slave guy get with a slave girl. Who approved <laughs> this? God, the stuff that they showed us for history this? to learn history in school. Was weird. Because, like, oh it's very watered down. <laughs> Let's be real. I mean, I've told you guys before about how, like, they, we were taught about varying perspectives by, like, reading different letters that people from the South had about slavery, about one where it was bad and one where it was good. They made us read about how people thought slavery was good. And it wasn't, the lesson wasn't like, it was actually bad. The lesson was like, it's important to take into account different perspectives that people may have. About slavery? Yeah, that was not the one to do it with. No. That was not, that was. <laughs> anyway, that was, um, I lived in the South at the time, so. <laughs> it was very, but then it was fine. It was very, there, there was like also like the, like the Civil War was not about the slavery thing. Like they were very adamant on teaching us that. Um, but, but like, did they, so they didn't see 12 years of slavery? It was a very weird slave? time. So, I think the only time they got close with like actually learning like history mm -hmm. or as accurate was we watched um an an the animated movie Pocahontas, but it wasn't Disney's Pocahontas. It was okay. historically accurate Pocahontas. Oh, and she did she die at the end? She so the framing device was her was her dying on a boat. 
Oh, yeah. And, like, well, I think that's the thing of, like, um, she's with John Rolfe, and then John Smith pops up, and then she just, like, collapses, and then she's dying on a boat, and then they do, like, a framing device where they have her meet John Smith, and it's, like, very, like, wholesome. Okay. But she's still 12. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, in real life, he was 30, and she was, like, 12. It's not romantic. Yeah. But it's still very wholesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then they say, like, he died, but then, and then she's, like, very sad about it, mm-hmm. and then she's older, and then she meets John Rolfe, and then... Doesn't get kidnapped. Okay. I think she just goes off to marry him because they're in love. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's not like the New World movie. Yeah. The Terrence Malick movie where Pocahontas is 12 and John Smith is sexy Colin Farrell and there is romance. Oh, God. I think, yeah. I don't think the actress was 12, but she was like young. And then John wrote the sexy Christian Bale. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But that's fine because it's artsy. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's, it's fine to have underage romances when it's artsy. <laughs> that is the plot of Call Me By Your Name. You're right. It's it's artsy <laughs> and they're, they don't mind the underage. <laughs> that's the most Woody Allen movie too. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Let's um, Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. We don't have a comment corner today because we are, we're working on building up our backlog. So, but if you leave comments, we will talk about them on the show. Or very, exactly where we time. are every yeah. time. Yeah. We are really good at knowing things. I'm great at it. Don't, don't look at past episodes. So anyway, if you leave comments now, we will read them on the show. We appreciate all of your support. I'm just going to go through our social media. You have comments about our whole history. Feel that just happened. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't even like, I didn't even get to say what we're doing next. So well, we're still Full Metal Alchemist. So we're still going to be full, doing Full Metal Alchemist. We're going to take a, we're going to take a small detour. We are actually going to pop back to the original Full Metal Alchemist 2003 series. We're going to watch the first two episodes of there and kind of do a little compare and contrast because I want there to get the experience of understanding what the first series was like and kind of showing how they might look side by side. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to go. Um, so we won't be continuing with Brotherhood. We're just going to do just two episodes of Full Metal Alchemist 2003 and then we'll hop back to Brotherhood. Okay. So, so is it the pilot and then another episode? Or yeah, it- yeah. It's based, yeah. We'll is see. it the same pilot? It's gonna be a little different. We're gonna see, we're gonna get to we're gonna compare. All right. It's gonna be a, a little different than what we've done before, but I think it's going to be fun. So until then, if you have enjoyed this program, I don't see why you couldn't have. We went at some we went some weird places today. We've only been recording for an hour and a half. Jesus. <laughs> oh. I was like that's. I, I thought I thought I, I thought I went through that summary real quick. You did, yeah. but then we also look. Well, well, the second episode that went on for like forty minutes. I guess this is also like forty minutes. I don't know. I don't think our history rant was that long. It went on a bit long, but it was funny. So I, I just I'm just having a good time recording a podcast. It's with been my about buddy. all the ones we recorded. Like we had to go through all of the holidays. With family that doesn't cause us any issues. Yay. Uh, I love my family very much. I'm saying that for legal reasons. So, no, I love to love them very much. But anyway, so yes, if you are enjoying this program today, if you're watching on YouTube, you can like and subscribe to us there. You can follow us on a variety of social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's Twitter. <laughs> TikTok, do all of that stuff. We are at Witty Clothes there or Witty Clothes Productions. All the links are below. And you can also listen to us on the go. We have our audio exclusive podcast where it's just our reviews in their full whatever form. I, don't, I was going to use unadulterated, but that's not that's not the word I wanted. So they are uh, available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Just look us up there, First Reaction, Fair Reaction, or under Witty Close. It's a good time all around. We also have a Patreon. Do we have anything to say about Patreon? Um, if you saw us the last time, remember, we have, right now, we have, like, between, like, one, five, and ten dollar tiers. Um, mainly, we right now, we have perks for the one and dollar, five dollar tier, which involves um, live streams, early access, and a spinoff show that we have where we watch a show that we either have both seen or never have seen. Mm-hmm. Right now we're doing Avatar Last Airbender because we want to. Yeah. So we make the decisions here. Yeah. Um, And we are figuring out stuff for the $10 tier, but I think we have a big concept. The problem is scheduling. Yeah, because uh, life is hard. 
and there's only so much time and I'm tired and I want to sleep. But and capitalism. Capitalism. But, you know, all that good stuff. So there's there's definitely things to do. There's things to, su- things to subscribe to. So check us out. There's options. There's extra content with all of your favorite buddies. I think special shout out to the live stream because we have fun doing those. Right. But there's also bonus content as well. I get to talk about some of the shows we really like. And, yeah, I think it's good stuff. So uh, anything else to say about that? Uh, Watergate Hotel. <laughs> If you give us enough money, we will spend a night at the Scandal Room at the Watergate Hotel, which would be really fun. We will make a video of it, and we will invite all of you to join us. We got a couple of us figure out stuff to do in D.C. There's plenty of stuff to do in D.C. I believe you. I don't remember because it's been a while. Uh, yeah. I would like to go down there more because I don't – I live closer to there nowadays. Let's probably make sure there is an insurrection going on. Yeah. Uh, you know. We'll go, we'll go on January 7th. So You know how worried our mothers would be if there was an insurrection when we were in D.C.? Yeah, they would be worried. But it's it's fine. So join, join us next time <laughs> as we will be talking about Full Metal Alchemist 2003 with Episode 1, Those Who Challenged the Sun, and Episode 2, Body of the Sanctioned. So until next time, I'm Kim Clothier. I'm Dara Whitman. Peace. But I'm assuming that old guy with the glasses and the long blonde hair is their dad. Yeah. Because it looks like them. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Whatever his deal is. We'll get to is it. Is he a dick? It's complicated. We'll get to it. Like, you know the thing of like, oh, like the pair left, but there's like a re- but there's yeah. like semi-reason for it. Mm-hmm. And like, by the end, they could be forgiven. Yeah. Well, I'll let you make your own judgment when we get there. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think I think it makes more sense. Yeah, good. I'm actually really excited that I planned what I planned because I think that this is going to be pr- pr- proud of you. I I'm hoping it works. <laughs> like that made more. I still have questions. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But it's I think it not makes- all has not been revealed yet. physical laws that govern this world to try to learn the truth. This is what happens when you are dangling from a train and your friend doesn't get you in time. You lose your heart and become a... <laughs> so true. Become a complicated anti-hero. Don't be absurd. That we can fix. But I can fix him. Does this take place during Bacchano times? Because this feels very like ancient mafioso. <laughs> what next? No, it's like a like alternate history early 20th century. there are a few things I'm curious about. I could stop, but I just love the song. Eventually, we'll skip through it, but not today. Once there, the brothers are taken to the home of the sewing life alchemist, Shao Tucker. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to do that episode after that. More about the field of <laughs> what? Bio-alchemy. Don't think it, uh, we'll get why to is it. There, why is there a minotaur? It's, we'll get, we'll get to it. All okay. right. Peace.